In my experience, some days on a bike tour are about toughing it out, and some are about finding opportunities to take it easy. Let's see how today turns out. Hey, I'm Sheila, and this is my partner Michael. After a beautiful couple weeks exploring France, we grab a train from Set to Perpignan to give us a better shot of making it through the Pyrenees to Barcelona in time for our flight home. We hop back on our bikes and head for the mountains. If all goes well, our arrival in Spain is just a day away. Good morning. Today we have a very big climb, but then at the top of the climb, we cross into Spain, which is pretty exciting. So I should probably stop dilly-dallying and get ready. But it's just so cozy in here. Anybody else hate that sound? <laughs> Our last day in France must be marked by fresh bread and cappuccinos, which sometimes come doused in whipped cream. I can't explain it, but I am here for it. Lucky for us, our leisurely breakfast helps us miss out on getting caught in some heavy rainfall. We were just packing up our bags to get on the road when it started drizzling a little, and then it got pretty intense, so we decided to hide out. We are in Paris. De Moyo. It's a very, very cute town. The people here are very friendly and it's really nice. When the skies begin to clear, we head off into our day of climbing. We have made it up to the Col de la Seille, which is 1185 meters. We still have to go up a little more to 1500 meters where the border is, but check out this view. Any thoughts, Michael? My legs are tired. <laughs> It has been a good amount of climbing today. Nothing like crazy steep, just very steady. Same as yesterday, eh? Yeah, just climbing all day. Yeah, just a steady climb all day. Mmm, it's good stuff. Finally, we reach the top of the climb, which also happens to be the border into Spain. We made it to the top. Welcome to Spain. And now we need a well-earned lunch. Now, when we bike tour in different places, we like to always get local foods that we see in the grocery store. And we found this creme de marron de l'Ardèche, which seems to be some kind of candied chestnuts or something. In cream form. Creamed candied chestnuts. So this could go very deliciously or not so much. Let's find out. Oh, it's pretty goopy. Hmm. It tastes like sweet chestnuts. It's pretty nice. I'm going in for more. Yeah. I know there's no apples in it, but it also almost tastes like a like an like apple pie filling. Yeah. Ooh, I'm down for that. Mm. Weather can change suddenly in the mountains and we seek shelter when another storm comes through. We were planning to wild camp tonight, but the rain keeps coming in these really intense bursts at the top of the mountain. So we think we're just gonna find a cheap little hotel in the next town and ride on over there. When it dries up, maybe a little. When the rain clears, we begin our descent. It's hard to believe how quickly you go down something that took you an entire day to climb up. But that's cycling for you. 
Oof, just heard some thunder. Better keep it moving. We soon arrive in the town of Moyo and load up on some much needed treats before settling in for the night. We're at a little inn in Spain and we're all showered and cozy. And I think the moral of today is that sometimes bike touring is about challenging yourself and pushing yourself and biking through the rain and sleeping on the mountain. And sometimes it's about eating candy and chips in bed while you watch The Office. Balance, baby. Life is all about the balance. In the next video, our journey continues on towards Barcelona, and we're met with the most mysterious mechanical issue I've ever had on a bike tour. A big thank you to all of my patrons who make videos like this one possible.